Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today I am talking to you guys about the cloud. So what is the cloud? I'm sure you've all heard of the cloud before. It's that great mysterious thing out in the world wide web. The cloud is essentially servers or server that you may have that is hosted elsewhere where you can run applications from, where you could do your uh, storage from, your uh, SQL databases. A lot of things can happen in the cloud. You can have your entire environment hosted in the cloud, Active Directory, user management, all that fun stuff can all be out in the cloud, hosted on a server in another location that is not your own. So that's a really cool feature of the cloud is that you could basically have your entire infrastructure out in the cloud, hosted elsewhere. You will access all of your apps, your programs, your systems remotely, essentially. You, you're hitting up whatever space in the cloud that you have purchased, bought, rented, whatever that case may be. That's a very broad and easy way to describe the cloud. If you guys really want more information on the cloud, hit up another YouTube video, do your Googling and get a nice, really defined example of what the cloud is because that's not what we're here talking about today. Today we are actually talking about um, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. That's what we're talking about. These are all cloud platforms essentially. AWS is Amazon, Azure is Microsoft, and then Google. That's an obvious one right there. These are all essentially cloud services. You can host your entire infrastructure there, your applications. They have many different features that they, they each offer, but they're all pretty much the same in regards to what you're able to do with them. Azure is probably gonna be my favorite, if you will, because it's Microsoft, right? And everybody loves Microsoft. Microsoft's great, right? Not exactly, but Microsoft does have a real big stronghold on the IT market right now, and they're going to for a long time. But the fact that you're able to actually have your Active Directory out there, your group policy, having your whole entire infrastructure there is really, really nice. And you could do that with the other ones, but just it being a Microsoft product really should make it tie in really nice together and be very usable. Um, AWS, of course, Amazon, uh, Amazon Web Services is one of the biggest. It's probably the biggest one out there that's utilized and everybody loves it. I mean, you can, you can still do everything that you would do on Azure or Google Cloud Platform and it's great. It functions fantastic and of course it's Amazon, so they're a multi-billion dollar company who can put multi-billions of dollars into the platforms that they are building, that they are offering, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, AWS, again, you can have your SQL databases out there, you can host your applications there, um, storage, whatever the case may be, you can purchase an AWS cloud solution and start sending your apps or programs, whatever, whatever you're trying to do to utilize the cloud, that's what you could use, utilize uh, AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud Platform for. Uh, Google Cloud Platform, uh, there are lots of people who, of course, use the Google Cloud Platform. Google's great, everybody loves Google. I love Google, maybe you love Google, maybe you don't. But the Google Cloud Platform, another one, your SQL databases, whatever type of server management that you're looking for, that's what they offer. And speaking of server management, all of these platforms have a solution where they manage your servers for you. Do the updates, make sure that everything's running properly as far as a server goes, as far as the hardware and all that stuff and, and everything related to how your server is performing, they manage that for you. You don't have to manage that. So you don't necessarily have to have a sys, sysadmin, a system, admin, a system administrator who is keeping an eye on that stuff for you. You know, you can still kind of monitor that stuff and if you see something quirky that they don't notice, well then you just get a hold of them and say, hey, I'm really noticing something on my AWS server, can you take a look at it? Probably they already know if it's something that's really, really bad, but if they don't, you can obviously give them a call and, and get that taken care of. But I think that's one of the great features of these cloud platforms is that they will manage your server for you, your cloud server. So why am I talking about the cloud today? Why did I touch base on AWS and Azure and Google? Well, the thing is, is everybody is starting to go to the cloud. Everybody enjoys the cloud. 
Everybody thinks the cloud is the solution to all solutions nowadays. And if you guys are looking for a career in IT and you're not quite sure which way to go, I strongly suggest that you guys look into cloud services. You can get AWS certifications. Um, there are Azure, cert, MCSA, uh, MCSE. They have, they have a lot of things that are tied into those certifications with Azure uh, Cloud with the cloud platform that they have offer. Google even offers a Google uh, cloud certification. So all of these have some type of certification that you can get um, to be an expert in one of these platforms. So depending on which way you wanna go, here's options. And some of these jobs do pay a lot of money. If you can get like the AWS architect certification, you're gonna be golden as far as money is concerned. And then of course, MCSC with Azure and then uh, the Google certification. So again, lots of certifications out there. Lots of businesses are going to the cloud because it makes more sense. And why does it make more sense? Well, it makes more sense because of the fact that they will manage these servers for you, right? And it's fairly affordable, but you don't have to worry about upgrading your servers or anything like that. If you have uh, more capacity needs for SQL or applications, something like that, you can always upgrade um, through one of these platforms, right? But you don't have to upgrade your hardware. You don't have to do that because it's all in their cloud, right? And it's great. It's fantastic the way that this, this um, structure works. The way that AWS and Azure and Google offer these services, the way that you can upgrade them, the way that they are managed so you don't have to manage them is really, really nice. The point of this video is to tell you guys, go out, start looking into the cloud, start taking the time to really look at what cloud services are out there, what businesses maybe around you are starting to go towards the cloud, because that could really help push you in the right direction to get certified in one of these cloud platforms. So if you guys wanna be an expert in one of these platforms, go out, hit up one of those certifications and see what you can do. So that's all I got for today's video is really just touching on this stuff. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, hit me up in the comments below. I'd be glad to answer you as soon as I possibly can. That's all I got for you guys today. As always, take it easy.